Hey everybody, welcome back to round three of the Water Comparison video series. Tonight we have the two final bottles of round three. We have Pure Aqua Black Cherry Sparkling Water. This is the first sparkling water to ever make it to round three, and probably the last. Next up we have Iceland Spring Water. This is a high pH water. It has an 8.88 pH. This water is $1.99 from the store East End Food Co-op. And this is a pretty big bottle. This is one and a half liters. The black cherry water is from the store Aldi. I really like the store Aldi. And this is only 49 cents. When I first did a review of this, I opened up the bottle and just the carbonation made the water squirt everywhere. Got all over my floor. It made my desk like sticky for a couple days. Like it made it my shirt sticky. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen this time. I didn't shake it up as much, or move it around, I mean, before this video, so I'm hoping that does not happen. But we're just going to open these up, because I already talked about these a lot in the first couple rounds. So let's just open them up and start doing a review. Please do not explode. Okay, it's foaming up a little bit, but the water is not, like, exploding out the top of it. It's good. It's a good one. Every water that makes it to round three is going to be pretty good in some way. I'm normally not a fan of sparkling waters, but for some reason, it's a pure aqua one. I actually enjoy this one. It's very similar to like a cherry, a cherry Coke. Here we go. Iceland water. That's a really good one. So this is a dollar ninety nine at East End Food Co op. If you buy this water on Amazon though, a twelve pack of this water is forty eight dollars. Almost fifty dollars for twelve of these. It's very expensive. On Amazon, this one is only three and a half stars. I think that's because very few people rated it. The only negative review I saw, somebody gave it a one star review on Amazon. The one star review said the water tastes great. The review just said they don't like it because the plastic for the bottle is too heavy. They say the plastic, I guess they mean it's too thick. They said they say the plastic is too heavy, so they give it one stars. Which overall brought down the rating to three and a half stars. Ah, that's a lot of water. The black cherry water is rated an A minus from foodjucate.com. This water is gluten free. It's lactose free, got zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar, and zero protein. In some of the other sparkling waters that I reviewed, that was not always the case. Some of them had sodium, some of them had sugar, you know. Some of them had 15 calories in some of them. Excuse me. So, as far as the nutritional info goes... This also beats out all the other sparkling waters, because it has none of that. Um, the A- minus has partially to do... The A- minus on foodukate.com has partially to do with it using aspartame, and I guess that website is against artificial sweeteners, because it's uh, carbonated, and then they add citric acid, they add aspartame, and they add potassium, and a couple other things, and... They say it's just not naturally produced. Um, I'm not a fan of sparkling waters, like I said earlier. But I can think of a couple, you know, times when it might might actually be good. Uh, I think maybe with popcorn, like if you're watching a movie and eating popcorn, I think this could go well with that. Um, you know, like if you're eating cookies, you want to have milk with that. Same, guys, same goes with popcorn. It just soda and carbonated drinks go well with that as well. Uh, 
one of the bad things about sparkling drinks is, um, well, first of all, it makes me want to burp a lot, but one of the problems is you can't chug it as easily, because it kind of, like, slightly burns your throat going down if you, uh, do a lot of it at once. So, which one is, is the winner? I'm going to say, this is actually an easy choice. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know why I'm making it dramatic. I know that the winner is Icelandic spring water. Um, I don't like sparkling water, so obviously I'm biased when it comes to this. But this is a really, really good water. This beat out, this actually had tough competition. Um, there was a, a hydrogen water. Which was really good. It was like in a pouch. It was a really good water. And just beat it. So. I don't care. Like I don't understand why they care so much. About the plastic being heavy. Like. Well, maybe they're worried about the environment. Maybe it uses more resources or something. But why would you give a product one stars. Because of. Like the type of plastic they use. When you, when you think. And you say in the review. That you think. The water tastes great. Alright, well, congratulations. Iceland spring water. You're moving on to round four.